Hello there, Sagittarius. Thank you so much for tuning into my channel. My name is Halen. I'm an intuitive medium. Today we're going to look at your energy, the energy surrounding your sign, and the energy of what to expect in this coming week. If this reading resonates with you, you can reach out to me in the description box below. I have a link to my Etsy. I sell uh, gemstone bracelets. I also have really beautiful handmade dream catchers homemade healing salves, anointing oils, deodorants, fun things like that. So uh, I also have my readings listed there with several options, but you can also email me as well if you're interested in that. So I also trust that this reading is timeless. If the title lures you in, don't get uh, too hung up about what time this is posted. If you're reading with or uh, resonating with it from the get-go, then I trust it is for you. So let's go ahead and dive in. King of Wands just flew out on the table. I'm not going to take any cards flying. So, uh, cause I'm going to just get all kinds of crazy. So, <laughs> but that Sagittarius probably would be uh, similar to your sign. Yeah. These little fireballs. You guys are so cute. So, um, well, I say that cause my son's a Sagittarius, but I love the Sag energy because the Saggy fire is like very exploratory and uh, feels a bit whimsical and fun. Whereas Aries is like, I'm gonna get it. <laughs> Sagittarius is like, oh, let's do this. Let's do that. Let's have fun. And I, I love that about it. So now that I've given you a pep talk about your energy, I also just posted a collective reading and that is sort of the blanket for whatever is coming out in the specifics for each zodiac sign, it's kind of like the tree canopy covering all of us. And there is a really beautiful, very big collective message for all of us there. So I would suggest visiting that reading. Interesting. Hold on a second. Sorry, I'm just looking at your bottom of the deck here. So um, there is a big message and I will just summarize really quickly by saying we are clearing up or, or completing a lot of karmic cycles very intensely right now. And um, it's about our future moving forward. That's what fascinated me so much about the bottom of your deck right there. So. Now let's dive in, but we'll see how much that reading ends up permeating this one. Again, I highly suggest that you go watch that after this one, if this resonates with you. So your energy, we have the King of Swords, the Knight of Swords, the Ten of Swords, lots of swords really in your head. So I'm hearing that you could be potentially spinning out about something. You might not even know what it is, right? But you're getting like caught up in anxiety. Uh, It's interesting, I would say you might not even know what it is, but it's kind of like, have you ever had body work done and you think that it's like your neck hurting, but in actuality, it's like something between your shoulder blades. It's something, um, or even in your hip, or it's something like that, that I'm just picking up right now. So you might be getting hung up about something in your mind, but it might actually have a completely different root. So we have the King of Swords, which is, a uh, I love this. He looks very wise. And yeah, he takes no shit, right? And he knows about like the cold hard truth. And uh, he's a strong motherfucker. <laughs> Knight of Swords is then like rushing towards something and then it's to an ending. It's rushing towards some kind of ending. King of Swords, Knight of Swords, Ten of Swords. It's to some kind of completion, which is what I was just describing, right? In the collective reading. It's like, it's almost like also not taking shit, right? Like knowing your boundaries, knowing your own truth, and then running towards walking away from something because it's like, it's funny that, you know, the page isn't here, but you've got everything else leading up to the 10th, the 9th, the king. 
It's like, I know what's true. I'm running away from what I know isn't true. And I'm walking away from this. That's what it feels like. The energy surrounding you is the lovers, the high priestess, and the seven of pentacles. Huge energy. Huge. These are huge to me. So the energy around you, there's a lot of love. There's a lot of inner healing, a lot of psychic awareness, a lot of going within, and a lot of growth. So spiritual work, for sure, is what I'm getting. Maybe even manifesting something with this high priestess to the seven of pentacles. But you are going to like... It's like you're ending something here. Now, I don't know if this is with this dynamic because this energy here looks like it's growing something whereas you look like you are getting out of something or ending something the energy of what to expect coming towards you we have the three of wands the nine of pentacles and the knight of cups so that is like looking to the future and this is just beautiful i want to say it somehow mirrors each other but it's beautiful energy she's very um independent nine of pentacles is like minor arcana empress so she is very independent abundant she's got these herbs drawing she's got a cauldron here she feels very crafty and she's just plucking you know these are from the earth so money really does grow on trees is what i'm hearing it feels very free flowing it feels very sagittarian it feels very beautiful and then there's this energy of romance here messages of love with the wings on his shoes so it's sort of like looking to the future and then seeing these two energies, this uh, material abundance and then this romance, and they feel very lighthearted. You could be dealing with the Pisces because Pisces had this, these cards in their future as, as well. The bottom, you have new beginnings, which I'd say so from the way that this looks here. Um, but let's actually shuffle. Oh, well, let me show you what was at the bottom you had a whole story here three of swords heartache that's what this feels like here right like you're having to walk away from something that hurt your heart or to be truthful even about something that hurt your heart with yourself even and then end a sort of negative cycle potentially in regards to maybe how you respond to things like this interesting message there um and then we have queen of cups very much reminds me of that high priestess for some reason the colors and everything the hair yeah it's like the same person um then we have the queen of swords and oh i'm sorry i swapped these and the ace of pentacles so it's like going from heartbreak into this queen of cups is very motherly love to me very emotional love and then queen of swords is also very like a mother is very loving but she's also very disciplining she takes no shit to the ace of pentacles um, which is a brand new beginning. After that was the sun as well, which if you see, these can look very similar. But um, I'm going to leave the sun because I feel like what's happened here is there's been a heartbreak where we go within in our emotions, we cut stuff out, right? So there's heartache. We go in and we nurture ourselves. It's kind of like if a child gets a, a, an ouchie. There's an ouchie, <laughs> okay? Heartache. We go within and nurture ourselves. We go to our mother for, for help with ouchie. Then the mother makes sure to administer, let's say, the medicine properly. Or to, you know, give some kind of clear direction forward, right? And how to move forward and grow this new thing to heal. This new something worth valuing. To start anew in some way, right? And there's something here where you are starting new and this energy this queen of cups queen of swords energy could be your own inner wise woman queen whatever gender doesn't matter um it's your own inner kumu teacher speaking to you here about how to move forward and grow something new here that's coming from a place of pain okay because you're walking away again there's a truth here and you're going away from it we're moving towards some other sort of completion or ending something like that but it's for a new thing is what i'm seeing at the bottom of the deck which is what the whole collective reading was about and the energy around you is there's love there's deep intuition and then there's something growing 
And this is also, again, being very taken care of, whatever is growing here. So I almost feel kind of like when I was describing those queen energies helping you grow something new here in regards to this three of swords. Whatever this is, it feels like you have gone through um, a pretty intense cycle with the anxiety. Again, you might be feeling emotions. Let's say that you have an ouchie, right, in your neck, but it's actually from your hip, okay? And it's kind of like that is being healed and nurtured. And maybe this energy outside of you is helping you to... Maybe they, they love you and can help see that in you and can help grow. I'm almost getting something a bit like that. Or if you go to like a somatic therapist and they know that it's not your neck, but it's your hip, it's kind of like that. And then they can help you grow from there as you heal and complete this sort of cycle where you were very much in your mind because there was a heartache here. But there's, there's a reestablishment of emotions of heart and mind. And then these pentacles growing something new. In, and maybe it's just a new dream in your physical reality. But it's almost like having hope, right? And there's this new beginnings card that's hovering over here. But um, your future is like looking to the future. Yeah, it's looking to the future for hope. It's like looking at your future and seeing all that's possible. All the abundance and all the love that can be that can be here and surprises of love as well surprises of love is what i'm hearing like that knight of cups is an energy that like swoops into me when you least expect it it's, and it's romantic it's like the guy on the white horse you know what i mean but let's uh go ahead and get oracles for each of these just to clarify and then we will summarize with an earth warriors oracle to complete this whole reading here in this message I do feel like this energy outside of you may be helping you as you go through a um, difficult time. So yeah, yeah, you're, you're calling something in is at the bottom there. But so to clarify all this energy here, remember when I said it's like you might not realize what the source is, there's this volcano here. I remember explaining to my, my son who's a Sag, um, it's kind of like I remember describing to him the volcano theory in regards to our emotional intelligence when he was really little and it's like when you stuff your feelings down you stuff it and you stuff it and you stuff it until eventually it's like a volcano and it just blows its top right and then you can express all this anger and that kind of thing and I'm seeing that this is potentially what's going on here it's like there's this volatility again Pisces have this in the same spot so there could be a Pisces that you're dealing with. If not, leave it. But this is very much like, um, right, getting in your head about things and walking away even from things, ending things, when in reality, it's your heart. So I almost want to say, make sure you, you're, you're connecting your mind and your heart here. But then I do see this energy around you. And look at what the clarifier is for this energy around you it could be an aspect of yourself right your own inner teacher your inner guru helping you to heal it says breath but to me it's saying just breathe like allow yourself i'm spitting <laughs> allow yourself to feel so that this doesn't this mental i'm hearing quagmire and it doesn't suck you in and then explode right so there's a lot of uh, brokenheartedness that needs nurturing, that needs clarity, and to also be true and honest and disciplined moving forward so that this new beauty can grow here, okay? Because anything's possible, okay? Happiness is, there is potential here. That's what this whole looking to the future is about in your future of what's possible, abundance, romance, or just love, right? And this is all clarified right here by wake up call, tsunami looking out this feels very tower like but i'm not necessarily getting that it's a bad thing because these are such positive energies that's very independent and very loving and i also again wake up call but a tsunami is something coming in a wake up call could be oh my gosh it was my hip all along didn't know it but there's something that you're calling in here with this invocation at the bottom, right? It's like this. And maybe this person also is, is well aware. This energy around you or maybe this aspect of yourself. You're calling something in. You're growing something. Something new here. Something new here. You're pulling it in from the ethers to be here in physical reality, right? Just like this. Just like what this energy is doing here. So this energy 
could be actually what's showing up in the bottom here. And then this big wave here that's coming in with this moon, which is emotions and completion. It's a wake up call. You might really be looking forward, but you might be having, um, it might be like, you know, oh, I'm feeling things again, or, oh, I'm having dreams again, or, oh, I'm envisioning what I want in the future again, and kind of getting clearer about that as well. And, and an energy around you, outside of you, potentially helping you with that could be a business. And they're helping you sort of like, it could be like leaving an old job, right? You've like had enough, you've blown your fuse, you're fucking walking out, right? Or a relationship, but there's an energy outside of you here that loves you, that's like, go within, breathe, you got this. We can grow something new here. You can grow a new, you can go to a new job, you got this, right? And it's like, I don't know how I can go on, and this energy is sort of like, whether it's part of you, it's like, love yourself, look forward, you can do this. You can grow this new thing. And now here you are looking forward. It's a wake up call, but there is a life of more easeful abundance and plentitude and love. And it doesn't need to be larger than life, right? It can be simple love. And this is what you're calling in. Something like a simple job, a job that you love could very well be the case with this, with this nine of pentacles, nine of cups. So Let's get an oracle card for you, Sagittarius, to finalize your reading here. You have, we are the ones we've been waiting for, Clan of the Wolf Heart. It's like I feel like someone's giving you a pep talk. Let's see. Yeah, I had a feeling they just skipped it. Hold on. Okay. You belong to the clan of the Wolf Heart. This is a soul tribe with boundaries beyond bloodlines and geography. It is based on soul connection to love's wisdom and higher truths of great spirit. The clan is united through wolf medicine and the heart. These are the qualities of the divine feminine that unify, allowing for a palpable experience of oneness that brings power to our collective wisdom and purpose. Check this out. I cannot make this up. Reach out for help from others. Whilst you honor and respect your individuality and your own unique life journey. All right? This energy outside you helping you, but you also, it's about you moving forward. They're helping you do this. Balance social time with taking care of your own individual needs. Including the need for time out and solitude to hear your inner truths and renew yourself. What you are looking towards, what you want, right? That's this energy's advice. <laughs> Anger, anger can be a sign from the soul, a sacred gift that asks you to deal with a situation to bring about something different and more empowering. Use your anger as a sacred gift with compassion and clear purpose. Fight wholeheartedly when you need to safeguard what truly matters. Be open to a greater guiding wisdom so that you know when to be merciful and when to cut something off completely. Believe in the power of your inner voice and do not silence yourself. That sounds like quite the wake-up call, Sagittarius. But you're pulling something in here. Something that you desire. That's true to you. That will bring you joy. It can grow. I'm actually quite excited for you. It feels like your mind, your head and your heart are coming into alignment and you are going to start living more true to you with more awareness of the source of the actual pain and what you want moving forward. And this, there's this energy here to help you find your own voice and find your own path, which that collective reading was so much about getting in your own, getting your own key, getting in your own car, turning on that Ignition and going down your own road in the map of life. Very, very, very much about completing old cycles. So, again, that would be very resonant for you. And I would suggest going back and watching that just because it was powerful. Thank you so much for being here. I hope that this helps you and I hopefully will see you next time. Okay, bye.